Am I the a-hole for giving my girlfriend's phone to my sister and scolding her? It was my girlfriend's 23rd birthday, and I, 25 male, got her an iPhone 12 Pro, as she has been wanting one for a while. So I saved up, and it was very expensive. When I surprised her with it, I was expecting her to be excited, but instead, she told me that she wanted a black one, not a white one. The thing is, she never told me she wanted a black. She just always said she wanted the phone itself. When I told her I didn't know, she told me that I ruined her birthday and just left. I was honestly in shock and disbelief that she was that upset about a phone caller. I didn't know what to do with the phone and planned on taking it back, but I remember my sister, 19, just had a baby and unfortunately had to drop out of college to find a job. I decided that I was going to give the phone to her since the phone she had was not working anymore. I told her that I would give the phone to her, but I still had to check if my girlfriend changed her mind. So I texted her saying, This is your last chance to change your mind about the phone because I plan on giving it to my sister. And she just texted me back, I don't care. I asked her one last time. And again she said, I told you I don't care. So that was that. A few hours later, I was in bed when my girlfriend came in and asked me where was her phone. And I told her, I thought you didn't want it. I'm sorry, but it's too late now. I already gave it to my sister. She got angry and started shouting at me, saying that she thought I was joking and that it was her phone, so I had no right to give it away, and started stomping her feet saying she wanted her phone back right now. I lost my cool and told her, you were an adult behaving like a child who didn't get their way. I asked you twice if you wanted the phone and you said no. Now please stop behaving like a toddler. She stomped her way out of the room and texted me that I was a jerk. But now all of her friends are ganging up on me. So now I'm wondering if I'm the a-hole. Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. Dealing with this person will always be a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. No matter how you try to please her, she will never be happy. She will constantly move the goalpost and find ways to tell you why you were not good enough for her. This is a relationship red flag. It's good that you didn't give the phone to an ungrateful person. Yeah, Opie sounds very kind from this and definitely deserves to be treated better. Yes, I mean, I would never dream to get such an expensive gift from like anyone. Definitely not a boyfriend and not a brother either. Opie is very generous. Girlfriend's reaction is so ridiculous, it's hilarious. Opie, welcome to the preview of your future with her. Not today, Hull. Huge red flag. Dump her, unless you want to deal with this childish behavior for the rest of your life. Not today, Hull. And please consider breaking up. Your girlfriend is completely dismissive of all the effort that must have gone into buying the phone because of something she never even specified. She then proceeds as if she was the one being wronged and turns the blame onto you, but somehow still stakes claim on the phone after basically tossing it aside. I honestly think it's great karma that the phone found someone actually deserving. Opie, this is a metric load of red flags. Consider ending your relationship with her. She's toxic. Not day hull. Not day hull. Friend, not to be mean, but I'd reconsider that relationship. You seem like a caring dude. I know the iPhone must have been super expensive. And getting upset by the color, which by the way, she could change worst case scenario, is just wrong. She doesn't appreciate you. Find someone who will. Now for the next story. Am I the a-hole for not wanting to celebrate my birthday with my dad if it's gonna exclude my brother? I'm gonna be turning 17 soon and my dad wants us to go to Nantes and I love going there. We used to as a family before crap hit the fan. This happened around September of 2019 that my mom was found out to be cheating and it ruined everything. Still mad at her about it and we don't talk a lot. My dad left for a while, and then he wanted paternity tests for me and my brother, who was 12 back then. I'm the only one who's my dad's son. My brother isn't. That caused some deeper crap. My dad cussed out my mom, told her he never wanted to see my brother again. Literally, when they were going through the divorce, the only one he tried to fight for custody over was me. This really messed up my brother, and it was hard ever since. I'm mad at my dad, too. But I hoped once time passed, he'd stop being like this with him. But nothing changes. Then he gets mad when I try to talk to him about it. 
My brother gets sad when I have to go to my dad's, and I've started not going, which just causes problems for everyone. So I told my dad I'm not going since my brother can't, because this is a place my brother loves going to. It's where we all went together. Like, I don't expect him to actually bring my brother because that would just be not the best thing if he's gonna be a prick with him or something. But I just said I don't want to do anything with my dad since he's still being like this with my brother. Especially going to a place I know my brother loves to. My dad's been pissed off about it. He's telling me to stop punishing him for only wanting a relationship with this actual kid, but he's begging me not to push him away too. He just wants us to have this one day since I won't even come with him to his place anymore. But I told him I can't. It doesn't feel right to me spending time with a guy who also hurts my brother just like my mom did, even if she was way worse. I just can't. But my dad is seeing it now as I'm turning my back on him, and like if I'm being a turd that I'd rather not do anything with him on my birthday. This has been hard on him, but also on us, and I hate my mom for doing it. But is it making me an a-hole that I basically am choosing my brother instead of him? Oof. This is a lot, but you are not today, Hull. Your dad is going through so, so, so much. More than you or I can comprehend. What's this going through with your mom cheating? Finding out his son isn't biologically his? It's really messed up. When it comes down to it, he raised your brother as his own. There is a father-son bond there that cannot be undone. That Tom can't be taken back. But he's doing severe damage to your brother by abandoning him and refusing to be a part of his life because of what his mother did. I'm not saying it's easy to stay, but he is causing a ton of trauma on this child. As much as it sucks to pick sides, I think it is very important for your brother that you stick by him through thick and thin. With everything going on, he'll likely feel like you're all he has left, and he needs that. Like, really freaking needs that. It is going to be hard and ugly at times. It's going to suck for everyone involved. But you have to stand by him. He needs you. He is about to build up some major abandonment and self-worth issues. And if anyone can make sure he feels loved and worthy, it's you. Absolutely not, a hole. You're a fantastic brother. But people who disapprove of you supporting your brother are going to make it about your father's feelings, slash how your mother wronged him, slash how you owe him. But at the end of the day, adults are supposed to take care of children, and your brother got half abandoned, whether it's reasonable for your father to do so or not. So your brother's needs are far greater, especially with how young he was when this exploded and still is now. None of the theoretical a man has a right to leave in this case actually applies to how the kids in this situation cope, which a lot of people conveniently ignore and rage against the spouse that cheated. You're doing the right thing for you and your brother, and that's what matters. Not they, Hull. I'm the only one who's my dad's son. That is just not true. He raised your brother for 12 years. That's his son too. I'm not saying your dad isn't hurting slash grieving, but he absolutely cannot expect you to participate in the abandonment he's inflicting on your brother. It's cruel, and you don't have to pretend that it isn't. You aren't choosing. You're refusing to hurt someone who desperately needs love and support right now. That's the way it should be. Yes, thank you. The father has every reason and right to be angry with the mother, but to take it out on a 12-year-old, a child that you raised from birth, is unconscionable. I cannot imagine just abandoning a child who has been mine in its entire life because I found out that we don't share DNA. And I certainly cannot imagine being that child and trying to deal with the only father I've ever known suddenly cutting all contact with me over a situation that I'm completely innocent in. Not a hole. Not a hole. So let me get this straight. Your dad was able to raise a child as his own for 12 years, and then the instant he finds out that he's not technically the father, he has no problem just emotionally and psychologically destroying the kid, who did nothing wrong? I get that he's hurt by your mom's cheating, but turning on your brother like that is just cruel and heartless. Not a hole. You are the only one thinking clearly in this situation. But the father didn't do anything wrong either. Go read one of those MIDA hall for wanting to have a relationship with my biological father, even though it's crushing the heart of the guy who raised me, posts, by kids in this kind of situation, to show what's going to happen in five years. My hat's off to any parent who can get through this kind of situation without it affecting their love for their child. However, I think that's above and beyond what I expect.
If someone's looking to the future and realizing that it will destroy them when their kid starts going on an emotional journey to bond with his biological father slash family or figure out what that genetic heritage means, I can't blame them for not going down that path. Contrary to general belief, men are allowed to have feelings and protect their mental and emotional health. Next story. Am I the a for not getting my stepdaughter another gift for her birthday? My stepdaughter's birthday was two weeks ago, and I'm still getting messages about how wrong I handled the situation. My stepdaughter is pretty spoiled. This is because her mother lets her get away with everything. Her mom is a complete Karen and is trying to make her like her as well. My stepdaughter asked her a new tablet, so I have been saving up to get her one. I bought it about a month her birthday was going to take place, and my husband told her about this. I confronted him, and he said in his defense he has been bugging him about a tablet. He didn't tell her where it was. He didn't have to though, because she found it herself, made fun of its size, and then proceeded to destroy the whole thing. I asked why she would do that, and she said her mom told her to do it, but that's blatantly a lie. I refused to get her another birthday gift. My husband on the day of her birthday asked where my gift was, and I told him. I said I wasn't going to get another one. He said that was selfish. I said it was also selfish to destroy something that effort was put into. Now, everyone in my stepdaughter's family is saying I'm a major a-hole. Was I really being an a-hole in this situation? Now for the top comments. Hell no. Your stepdaughter has some major freaking problems. I don't know how you even deal with this, to be honest. If she doesn't show any improvements in her attitude and selfish ways, I would probably never get her birthday gift. Sorry for being so harsh, but I just feel for you. When asked where her gift is, say she got a gift and destroyed it, there's where the gift is. Oh well, but do not buy this person another gift ever. Let dad do the buying. And frankly, I'd question whether you want to be with someone who lets his kid act like this. Because it won't change. She will be 30 and expecting yet another car after she wrecked the last three. Put all the tablet pieces in a box and wrap it really nicely. When she opens it, get a big grin and go, surprise! Not day haul. Your husband is assisting in creating a monster. And it's unfortunate that there's not at least one adult related to her teaching her gracious appropriate behavior. Yeah, this. It's not just her mom who is the issue here. This reaction is ridiculous and may have been learned from mom. But dad is completely condoning this behavior by insisting you buy her another gift and calling you selfish for not getting her something else. Wait, let me get this straight. You bought your stepdaughter a gift she had been asking for. She found it beforehand, regardless of if she was told or not, and purposefully broke it? Then demanded you get her another one since it was now broken. What? So not the hole. She didn't like the size, so she broke it and make it look like an accident so I could buy her a bigger one. What the? Your husband's family can pool their money for future gifts as far as I'm concerned. She should no longer expect anything from you for this blatant act of disrespect. The fact that your husband is enabling this type of bratty behavior is equally as appalling. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for not wanting to give my laptop to my uncle? So I, female 22, recently got myself one of the new Apple desktop computers, and it came in today. I paid for it on my own as a graduation gift to myself, and I was having issues with my laptop, also Apple, about 4 years old with heavy use. It still works, it just doesn't work if it's not plugged in, and it's a lot slower than it used to be. And the cost to fix it was high enough I thought I'd be wiser to just buy a new one altogether. Here's the issue. When my new computer was dropped off, my grandmother, who I live with, saw and realized what I bought myself. I told her I was buying it, but I don't think she realized what exactly I was buying. She went on and on about how my uncle, male 28, was going to throw a fit and it's unfair I got it for myself. That he used to have one, that she bought him, and the only reason he doesn't anymore is because one day he got really angry and, intentionally, broke his to the point it was irreparable. She then insists I should give my laptop to my uncle because it's only fair if I do so. I told her no, that's ridiculous, and that I plan to keep it. Because while it has some issues, it's still portable and that aspect is useful, but not something I want to deal with all the time. 
I then pointed out that she didn't buy my laptop, got it from my school, or my desktop, so she has no right to have a say what I do with either. She then went on about how entitled I am and how I don't care for my uncle. Not today, Hall. Ironically, your grandmother is the entitled one. She has no right to make you give your possessions away to another person. What do you mean you have to give me all your rewards right now? You're such an entitled a-hole dude. Being serious, I don't know how spending your own money on something for yourself is selfish. That's how life works. Grandma's high. Not today, Hall. I think the entitled one is your uncle if he expects to smash up a perfectly good laptop and just be handed another. Exactly. Not today, Hall. It's your property, and he would probably break your laptop due to anger as well. She can buy him another one if she wants him to have a laptop. Not today, Hall at all, since you bought it. But question, is your uncle disabled in some way or something else? My uncle does have a mental disorder, not going to say what for his privacy, but it's now on meds that work for him. It took a couple years to find the right ones, and he's been working on his own for a while now. For context, he did break it when he wasn't on the proper meds and wasn't doing well mentally. But regardless, it would have been 11 years old at this point and probably wouldn't be running well regardless. 